this particular video, this forms the beginning of a new playlist on completing the square. And the reason I'm putting it into a new playlist is because in the previous videos we've just had single values of x squared. Uh, now we've got this 3 at the front. So I'm going to show you a technique of how to complete the square and put this into this particular form. Okay, so the first thing that we do is we look at the first two terms and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor them for the value of 3. Now the way I normally work is I put these things into um, square brackets because I just feel what it does then is it separates everything I'm trying to do within this particular um, method. So what I've done then is I've taken the value of 3 out from both of these two terms and I've said what have I got to do to um, x squared, or what am I going to do to 3 to, multi to get to 3x squared? Well, I'll multiply it by 3. And then what have I got to do to 3 to get 6x? Well, I multiply it by 2x. Okay, so this is just the factorization of these first two terms. And then I've put this minus 2 at the end there just so that I don't forget that it is actually there. Okay, what I'm going to do then is use my normal technique to complete the square. So I'm going to leave this 3 out, and again, I'm going to use big square brackets, and I'm going to write x plus 1, and that's going to be squared. Okay, well, let's have a look at that, and exactly the same as I've done before with other videos, I'm going to write x plus 1 times x plus 1 off towards the side here. Now if I factorise that out, um, or if I expand that out, I'm going to get x squared plus 2x, and that's going to give me plus 1 at the end. Okay, so that's fine for the first two terms. There it is. But I've got this plus 1 I've got to get rid of, so I'm going to write that as minus 1 close my square brackets and again I've got minus 2 towards the end. Now remember what we're trying to do is we're trying to put it in this form. So I'm okay with these two bits but I need to get rid of this minus 1 and also this uh, this number at the end is going to change. So let's just multiply this out. So I'm going to leave it as 3 times x plus 1 squared because that's fine, that's what they're looking for, but I've also got 3 times minus 1 here. Well, that's going to be minus 3. Then I've also got minus 2 towards the end. So I can then just gather up those numbers and I can write that as 3x plus 1 squared minus 3 minus 2 is minus 5. And that is the end of this particular question. Okay, so the thing to remember is that I'm going to be multiplying out this by 3. Well, because they've let me leave it in this form here, I'm not too worried about the first two terms. What I need to do is I need to deal with this minus 1 here, and that minus 1 becomes the minus 3 there. Okay, I hope that's all right for you. Please do have a look at some of the other videos in this particular playlist. I'm going to be dealing with uh, some more uh, very similar type of questions. I hope it's useful for you. Please do add a comment if you're not sure. Have a look at some of the other videos in the playlist and subscribe to the channel, and I'll look forward to seeing you inside the next video.